judgment in the Shembe leadership wrangle is to be handed down in the Durban High Court today. The Shembe leadership battle dates back to 2011 when church leader Vimbeni Shembe died. Vele Shembe of the Zembe Zinkle fraction in Humduduzi Shembe of the Ebuleni fraction, son of the late leader, are in a tussle to lead the thousands of Nazareth Baptist Church followers. Vimbeni's son Mduduzi and cousin Vela Shembe both want to succeed Vimbeni. Vela has urged that Vimbeni appointed him as a successor in a will, but has failed to convince church elders. ANN7 reporter Zinkle Mahadi joins us live from Durban. Zinkle, can you give us more update on what is happening currently there? Well, thank you very much and a very uh, good morning to our viewers. Today we are at the Durban High Court where this succession battle has been going on since 2011 when um, Vimbeni Shembe passed away, uh, also known as Utsingu Lwenko Sazana, uh, that passed away. He was a leader of the Shembe Church, also known as the, Naz the Nazareth Baptist Church. Now you would understand that this church in particular has thousands and thousands of followers and such a dispute in the succession has drifted and divided the church apart like you uh, very rightfully mentioned there are two factions that are battling here today uh, the Tembe the Zinle faction which is in support of Vela Shembe who also is the cousin of the late leader and the other faction is the faction that comes from Ebusheni which is in support of Mtutuzi Shembe who is the son of the deceased. So these two factions have been going on in these legal battles and we also saw the high intensity of uh, this court case and the high emotions that go along with it. We saw um, it sometime last year when there was a physical confrontation just outside this court between the two factions. That alone will show you how uh, emotional this process has been for the followers and uh, one would then presume that today will be something along those lines and an atmosphere that is somewhat very tense, very emotional, and uh, really the, 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 the resolution or the, the solution vests on the judge today. And whichever side the judge will favor, the other side will, will, will probably not feel uh, so welcomed and so um, in, in reception of that uh, judgment, whichever uh, uh, side the judge will, will, will um, favor today. But um, taking into account, if you look at how the, the court case has been going on, uh, one would presume that uh, uh, there's going to be very high emotions. And uh, just on that note as well, I'm going to ask my, my cameraman to pan, just to give you an idea of how a security has been beefed up for today's judgment. That alone will show you um, the amount of uh, intensity and what police are expecting uh, here today. We know that the court itself only uh, encompasses about 60 seats and in the past few appearances in this court case there has been a lot of fighting within uh, people that were forcing to come in uh, into court but obviously there's a very limited space there's high security we've seen POP we've seen um, a lot of police presence and even the court itself today has been fenced uh, just to make sure that the, the security at the gate controls the crowds because obviously a case of this magnitude has a lot of followers and uh, we might be seeing uh, quite a, an overcrowding in this area in about an hour's time. Okay, thank you. We know that Vela Shembe has tried to convince the court that he was um, named as the successor, but they say that he has failed to convince the church leaders. Do you think that he convinced the judge or that he went the length to try to convince the judge that he is the successor? It's hard to say really at this point uh, whether the, the whether the judge was uh, convinced by Vela Shembe's uh, uh, defense lawyer's arguments because if you recall when the uh, when the leader Mvimbe Nishembe died and the lawyer of Mvimbe Nishembe came out and announced to the congregation in the church saying that uh, a letter that was written by the deceased had pronounced Vela Shembe as the successful uh, successor 
but the priests uh, and, and the bishops within the church disputed that, saying that um, the rightful successor should be the son of the deceased. And that's how the dispute actually came about, because a letter coming from the lawyer of the deceased said something else, and that would one, one would believe that that a piece of evidence is sufficient for the court to favor Bela Shembe. But at the same time, the, law, the, 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 the judge has to also take into account the magnitude of numbers that are in support of the son, Mdudusi Shembe, which is also known as Unyazi Lezulu. He has a lot of followers, and it seems as though most of the congregation has swerved towards the son rather than the cousin, Vela Shembe himself. So it's very difficult to say really at this point whether uh, the judge was convinced by either one of the, the, the closing arguments of the defense um, or of, or of the, 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 the two legal teams. It's very difficult to say, but I mean, we'll just have to wait and see and, and, and see what the judge will decide to do. But uh, whatever decision the judge will be giving down today, it's going to be a very important one. And uh, you can imagine this is a decision that will impact on people's fates. And once you touch someone's fate, okay. uh, faith, you, rather, you touch a very sensitive and emotional uh, aspect Thank of their lives. Thank you, Zinkley. And that's why I'm I sorry, we're going to have to intervene here. Run high. We have to move on, but thank you so much and keep us updated on the story as it develops.